someone asked me to take a look at this FLA, what they tried to do was combine two of my tutorials. One was a board game using dice, and the other was a spin wheel. Um, the problem is that one of the those tutorials was done with ActionScript 2, and the other one was done with ActionScript 3, and you can't combine them. I have that FLA that was sent to me, and I just want to show you if I open the action script for a minute, the action layer. This code here, using the event listeners, that is is um, action script 3. But down here, on entered frame equals function, on and this on press, this this is um, action script 2. And uh, you, can't, you can't do that. So I'm going to start by using their, their FLA. I'm going to take and all of these frames and just highlighting them and I'm removing them. I'm opening the actions panel and I'm going to remove the code that is action script 2. So I'm going to start here and go down and delete those frames. So now if I tested it, here's their board game. You cannot move these other players. And if I click the start button, the wheel will spin. If I press the stop button, the wheel will gradually stop. And at which time I want to be able to move the players. So that's my next step. I'm back to the timeline the main timeline I'm clicking and dragging all the way down like this all in one motion I'm coming off going back on getting what I call the fuzzy square click on it and drag it one to the right and now I have all my stuff in this what's called frame 2 I'm going to select this frame 1 this action layer frame 1 open the actions panel and put a couple variables in here. Type, 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 type. VAR turns purple, space, which player, capital W, capital P, colon, number, capital N-U-M-B-E-R, it turns blue. As you're typing this in, there will come a drop-down menu, and when you get to the word number, you can actually just hit enter. Equals minus one, semicolon. Copy that and paste it. Change the word which player to player count. P-L-A-Y-E-R-C-O-N-T, capital P, capital C, colon, number equals 1. Get rid of the minus 1, make it a, a 1, semicolon. And this third variable is stop drag, capital S, capital D, colon, number equals 0, semicolon. These are the uh, variables we're going to use eventually to say which player has a turn to play. Let's go back to the timeline and let's just see if we got what's going on now. I'm just going to test it for a second, see if any I can do at this moment that I have to do. Yes, it's just flashing because I'm not stopping it. And that is back to the main timeline. I'm here. I'm going from this frame to this frame and I'm not stopping. So the first thing I gotta do here is on this frame two action layer, put in a stop. So select the very first very first line, enter, arrow up, S T O P, open close bracket, semicolon. Now when I test it, it will stop on that frame number two. And it jumped to frame two. I can press the start and stop button and they work quite well. Good. Back to the timeline. Click here. I'm on frame three now. Click here. Come down all in one motion. Right click. I want to insert keyframes. Insert keyframes and that brings all this information up to here. See that's all here. Up here come up to this action layer, right click, insert a blank keyframe.
select that new keyframe open the actions panel and you got a whole lot of type 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 typing to do I'll go through it with you and then we'll try it this is a setup that's going to talk about the two movie clips player one and player two that's these two players this is player one and this is player two and it uses uh, what's called target events and this is the format for laying out target events so player one underscore MC period add event listener small a capital E capital L that will turn blue open bracket mouse event capital M capital E period mouse underscore down mouse underscore down is all capital letters comma drag capital D R A G close bracket semicolon and I believe I said back here there was an open bracket copy that paste it when you paste it player one MC event listener most event all stays the same up to here instead of the word down type in the word up again capital letters you have the comma if you pasted it and instead of drag write drop okay copy this line here again paste it in down here change player one to player two all this stays the same all this stays the same all this stays the same except here it's going to be drag two then copy this line paste it down here change the one to a two all the way up to here change the word down to up again capital letters oh no nope, we're all right because we just pasted it from here we're all right and here we want drop two with a semicolon here's the function function if you went CTI one turn, turns purple space drag capital D R A G open bracket event colon most event capital M capital E event here has a small e that will all turn blue close bracket colon void void turns the same color as function there's the open curly bracket for this function down here is the close curly bracket for that function inside them two curly brackets we have an if statement and a, and a do statement we got if if turns the same color as function open bracket open bracket two of them which player that's one of those variables we just made capital W capital P which player equals equals two equal signs and we're going to start off with minus one here for a minute close bracket two M and signs and 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 I believe they're the uppercase of the number seven yes the uppercase number seven open bracket stop drag that's another variable we made equals equals zero close bracket close bracket be careful when you're doing this code on this particular frame because a lot of times I'm just saying uh, open bracket or close bracket and a lot of them are actually open curly brackets and closed curly brackets so I zoomed in on it for you there's the open bracket for that if then we got event e v e n t small e period target t a r g e t small t period start drag small s capital d that all turns blue open close bracket semicolon close bracket close bracket now you can cut and paste these if you want but I'm gonna go through them just as they are because you can cut and paste as long as you make some changes the next function is the drop function DROP open bracket event colon most event it's the same as the one above colon void the only difference is this is the drop For up here it was drag okay it's an event dot target dot stop drag open and close bracket semicolon and there's the close bracket for this little piece of do something here then we have the function for the drag on the second 
on the second player. Function drag open drag two capital D open bracket event period mouse event capital M capital E colon close bracket colon void. There's the open bracket for this function. I'm just gonna move this up. There's the open bracket for this function, and down here's the close bracket for this function. So there's the open bracket. Inside this we have an if. I'll go through this in a minute. If if open bracket which player again? Oh, there's two open brackets here. Which player again? That's that same variable. Equals equals minus one. I got the same as up there for now. Close bracket and and. Open bracket stop drag capital S capital D. That's the other variable. Equals equals zero. Close bracket close bracket. There's the open bracket for this if statement. And here we have the same as this, except it's going to be the start, the drag. Event, period, target, period, start, drag. Small e, small t, small s, capital D. Open, close bracket, semicolon. Close bracket, close bracket. And the last one for this is function. This is the drop, the, the stop dragging the second player. Drop two, capital D, open bracket, event, colon, most event, small e, capital M, capital E, close bracket, colon, void, open bracket and a close bracket, and this is event, period, target, stop, drag. It's a small e, a capital, a small e, a small t, a small s, and a capital D. Now, what this says is, if, if, we click on player one up here. See this drag? This drag corresponds to this drag. If we click on player one, we'll go into this function. This is a test. If this ver variable is equal to minus one, which we're going to make sure it is when we start this, this out, um, and we are in the position where we stopped the drag, so it's equal to zero, then we'll be able to drag player one. Once we draw, click off, this function takes over and we stop dragging player one. Now right now, I have them both set to be dragged and we'll go back and look. See, it says which player is minus one and stop drag is zero. So if I go back to here, I'm going back to that first frame. We already have which player at minus one and stop drag at zero. So if there's no errors, we should be able to spin the wheel and move those two when the wheel. We should be able to spin the wheel. We can and stop it. And the only thing now is we got to go to the next frame. See, we're not being able to do that yet because that is on frame three and we're still on frame number two. So now we gotta find some means of jumping into this frame three after the spin wheel stops. So we open our library, go to the wheel movie clip, and on that wheel movie clip, while it's spinning, it's going through these six frames over and over again. So let's look at them. If I click here, open the actions panel, and this talks about the frame count of one. And right here, after this go to and play nine, enter and type this code. Type, 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 type. It's movie clip, capital M, capital C, turns blue, open bracket, parent, P-A-R-E-N-T, small p, close bracket, period. Go to and stop, small g, small t, capital A, capital S, turns blue, open bracket, three, close bracket, semicolon. This says, when this condition is true, go back to the main timeline and jump into frame three. That's this, if I go back to the main scene one, the main timeline, that's this new frame we made right here, 
where we're actually going to be allowed to drag and drop the players. So let's go back to that wheel again and open the frame to add the action code. And that will take place when this global, my global variable, that's a variable that was made on the previous, when the, when the person made the, um, the board game video. If I go back again to scene one, back to the timeline, look in here on frame two, this is where that my global was made a one when we told the wheel to stop spinning. So if you got that, you got it. If you didn't and you want to know more, you can give me a buzz. So now we're back to frame two of the wheel movie clip, action code, and I want to copy that. And I want to paste it in here on frame three. Paste it there, and I want to paste it on frame four. And on frame five. And on frame number six. and frame number seven. Good. Now, when we test it, test movie test, I'm on frame one when it starts. It jumps to frame two where there's a stop. I can't move them in yet because I'm on frame two. I can't stop it because it's already stopped, but I can start it spinning. I can't move the people yet. I press the stop button. It jumps to frame three. The wheel stops, and now I can move these. When the person I'm helping gets this part done, this video done, I'll do the next part, the next follow-up. It'll be board game with spin wheel uh, part two. I hope this works for you.